Welcome back to our series, Catching Up with Sitecore JavaScript Services. This series addresses common questions about JSS that come up from clients, partners, and developers. Today's topic is about caching in JSS. Enabling caching is the easiest way to improve performance in your JSS app. After watching this video, you will have a better understanding of how caching works in JSS and you will learn how to utilize it in your performance strategy to get those blazing fast pages. I will cover two caching techniques, Sitecore output caching and node memory caching. It's important to understand that Sitecore output caching in JSS does not work the same way as it does in MVC. In MVC, Output caching saves the HTML that is returned by the render rendering pipeline for any rendering which has caching enabled. So on subsequent requests, we already have the HTML for those renderings and no additional processing needs to be performed. On the other hand, in JSS, output caching saves the JSON that is returned by the layout service for any component that has caching enabled. The node server takes that JSON as input and executes JavaScript to generate HTML. This part of the process, transforming JSON to HTML in the JavaScript layer, needs to happen on every request. To improve performance, the first thing to do is to make sure that output caching is enabled. This utilizes Sitecore's out-of-the-box HTML caching functionality to cache the layout service's JSON response so it's quick to implement. The limitation of this strategy is that it can't be used on components that are personalized. If this is not enough, there is a custom option available too. This involves implementing caching at the node server. For every route where caching the entire page is acceptable, you can use node's memory caching to save the HTML output of the route. Note that when a page is server-side rendered, Node renders the entire page as one block of HTML, not as individual renderings, which is why this is flagged as all or nothing caching. For additional information, see the caching page in the JSS docs. Thank you for watching. My name is Anastasia Flynn and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm on Twitter and Sitecore Community Slack if you would like to submit a topic for this series. Please follow the Sitecore JSS hashtag for all things JSS and the Learn Sitecore hashtag for educational content from my team.